Okay, so down at the Doncaster Museum of History and Art, uh, I've brought some of my fossils from my collection, and Dean Lomax, a paleontologist, is here to talk about some of the fossils that I've brought and uh, what he thinks of them. So, what fossil would you like to start off with? We'll start with the, uh, the larger fossil first. Okay, so this is supposed to be a caudal vertebra from a spinosaurus. Um, Again, it's hard to tell because it's um, not exactly complete, but what do you think? Yeah, no, I, I would say, looking at this, it probably is a, a caudal vertebrae. It's quite flattened, quite flattened in the centre. It's not complete, but with the locality where this is from, which is probably sort of Morocco, the Sahara Desert area, it probably is something like a Spinosaurid, some sort of dinosaur, but yeah. bear, bear in mind, obviously, the, the fact that um, a lot of fossils are found there, such as um, crocodilians and other reptiles, so it could potentially be something like that. But I'd, I'd pretty much say it is a dinosaur, most likely a caudal vertebrae, which is a pretty cool, pretty yeah. cool little specimen, definitely. Okay. Now, what about these two bits? So these are supposed to be fragments from uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Right, well, looking at this piece, look at this piece first, it's got a nice shape to it. Um, it's possibly some sort of like rib end or something like that. But I mean, for it actually being in Tyrannosaurus, it's quite quite difficult to say. Um, with it being from the the Hell Creek formation, yeah. So it's it's that's where obviously Tyrannosaurus has been found. What may have happened with, with both of these sort of pieces is that it's been in one large block and then it's been smashed open. Okay. Um, so that then you have all bits and pieces. Yeah. Because if the block was very eroded then it is, may as well break the pieces up and you can have little bits of bone like this. So it quite probably is from T-Rex, so... Wow. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Now, um, take a look at this one next. It's like a tooth. Yeah, so this is it's supposed to be a tooth from Allosaurus. Right. Um, you know, if you look at photos on the internet, if you look at Google or such, Normally you would see that other service teeth are like blackish in colour, but this one here, it's probably rare because it's actually reddish in colour, but what do you think about that? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely a theropod dinosaur tooth, and um, it's from the Morrison formation, right? Yeah. Yep, so that's uh, late Jurassic. Um, there's actually small serrations as well, quite sharp still along the tooth. Um, probably is Allosaurus, and yeah, you're quite right, it is red, and that is slightly rarer than the normal sort of black, because... Yeah. Um, certain minerals in the rocks around when, when these sort of, well, when fossils fossilise um, is the fact that that sort of minerals like iron probably is stained and leached in, inside this tooth, which has given it the red colour, which is pretty, yeah. pretty cool, which is impressive. It's a very, very nice little chunk of a tooth, though. <laughs> very cool. The serrations as well. Let's have a look at this one. So, this is a fragment of bone which I have no idea what it belongs to. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> Probably no idea as well. I think the thing is with isolated bones and teeth and things, often it's very difficult to identify um, what animal it may have come from. Yeah. Um, if you have the information, such as the formation, where it was found, the location and so forth, then it gives a, it, it kind of cuts down some areas what it could be. But um, what it could be, I don't know. The bone's not complete either. It could be. I think maybe some sort of process from... Um, a cervical vertebrae, they have some really long processes, yeah. but I, I doubt that as well. It, it's just very difficult to, to say, really. Uh, what about this one? This one's quite cool, some of these, these holes going through. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they look like bite marks. Right, uh, bite marks, right. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, it's, it's a possibility. No, that there is the um, sort of groove there as well. Yeah. It's, it's possible. It's got that sort of like curvature, the right curvature of the, the sort of teeth to, to go there, so that's quite quite cool. I have seen some fossils where sort of blood vessels make yeah. sort of color, uh, sort, sort of this sorry this sort of shape as well. So that's quite impressive. But mm -hmm. you, you're quite right; it could be something like like bite marks. Mm -hmm. um, quite quite interesting. Nice sort of structures all to the bone. Quite, quite yeah. a nice nice bit as well. And then finally, this little chunk of bone which is supposed to be from Triceratops. Right, Triceratops also got T-Rex and Triceratops. Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> nice mix. Yeah. Well, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> but it's probably um, a similar sort of thing to the, uh, the T-Rex. Yeah. The fact that the bone's probably been in sort of a large block, 
and been very eroded so it's been broken up and yeah. then they found fragments or it could have been out scattered on a sort of area where they've got all bits of fragments of bone and it's possible that this is quite a route because you can feel the sort of smoothness, yeah. smoothness around it so. yeah 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 no hopefully that's helpful yeah yeah so uh, no that's it so uh, hopefully that's helped um looking at these fossils because obviously even i have been a bit um found it a bit difficult to understand what these fossils are from or what animals so uh, hopefully that's been uh, great to see this uh, especially from a, a paleontologist which I'm not yet <laughs> anyway I'll see you later